So the outcome of our project AI enabled workforce monitoring system is that uh, we'll be able to uh, you know track I mean track in the sense uh, we'll be able to see who and all are there in the workforce uh, environment and uh, we'll be able to take their attendance and as well as we'll be able to uh, classify I mean highlight each and every actions of every employees. After running the project the report is generated based on the employee's actions. Also, the time frame with which he performed each action is recorded. From this data, we can analyze and recognize patterns which can help us to determine if the action is effective or not. In our project, the AI enabled workforce monitoring system, we have one core module and two sub modules. The core module is called as the uh, open course architecture, I mean open course and it's working on the open course architecture and the other two modules are the first one is uh, with the face recognition and the second one is with the QR code. So the combination of uh, these three modules gives us or the three, these three techniques gives us a, an, an optimal working environment where uh, both the uh, employees and the organization can make strategic goals likewise. So let's see how it's done. So the first module which is I mean let's begin with the two sub packages I mean sub modules the first one is uh, face recognition I mean uh, this is very much commonly used you can see it almost everywhere uh, basically for the authentication system and some uh, lots of control system etc so we'll be able to find those things there and uh, yeah in our project what we are trying to do is uh, we'll be able to integrate it uh, with the core module I mean core module will be explained later on and uh, so face recognition module can be integrated with our open course module whereas uh, it will be able to detect the people or else the employees working in the working environment you know uh, initially uh, you know will the, the cctv cameras will be placed on uh, you know the corners as you all know where it uh, where it will be placed so from that cameras we'll be getting the videos and videos as you all know it's frame multiple frames per second and uh, in, uh, in, in from those frames we'll be trying to detect the humans uh, that is by using key points and then pairing them so initially we'll be detecting the key points that is eyes nose here there will be point shoulder points elbow points knee I mean uh, uh, hips and knees and foot and likewise so all these points will be initially identified be uh, I mean based on particular mapping and then uh, based on uh, affinity map we'll be able to pair it that is the eyes to nose has to be paired, the shoulder, this this joint to the elbow joint has to be paired, needs to be paired, yeah. Likewise, since after the pairing that, yeah, we get a human structure. And then uh, once we get the human structure, uh, actually what we can uh, train here is, we can train n number of uh, poses, uh, which can be categorized as, I mean, speaking of, uh, I mean, let's take an example, okay. Uh, take, while here, we are taking an example as being productive and uh, being non-productive. So in this particular example, uh, let's take, uh, I mean, we will we, we'll be able to train n number of uh, poses. Uh, so uh, uh, let's again consider an example. So here, let's see, uh, we have three, um, three poses. They are standing, walking and uh, operating in a computer. So technically standing and walking can be uh, termed as a non-productive uh, body movement whereas operating in a computer can be said as a productive movement. So that there it is, there, there is a classification. So based on that, we'll be able to uh, train and uh, classify n number of uh, body movements uh, of a, an employee, I mean of an employee in an organization or anywhere and we'll be able to tag it according to the productiveness and non-productiveness. So we all knew the human psychology that every human will not work completely for 8 hours or 10 hours. What happens their concentration will get distracted from the workplace or if he is using mobile phones or he is chit chat with the uh, he is having a chit chat with his co-worker 
or else he f- he has uh, he is moving uh, out from the workplace and he is not back to the workplace on the right time then that type that kind of workers uh, that kind of movements of the workers will be classified as non protectable worker so thereby uh, by these classification and marking whether he is present or not we can identify or classify each and every worker that who will produce more efficient in their workplace and who will not Thank you.